We need to talk because the tropics are heating up. Do you remember the last video I said the tropics are heating up? Wow, I was wrong. Last video, we were just talking about two systems. Now we're talking about four. Yes, four. I'm gonna tell you all we need to know about each system, and it's a lot. Here we go. The first system is Hurricane Gert. Last video I said Gert reminds me of that Milky Way commercial. We're at Gert's. And it completely does whenever I talk about it. But right now, Gert is exploding with power. Gert is truly a hurricane now. Gert has developed its pinhole eye and is gonna try and make that bigger until it reaches the colder waters of the North Atlantic Ocean. Gert's at 90 miles per hour right now at 975 millibars. Gert is skating right now to the Northeast at 25 miles per hour. Gert's not gonna hit any land, but Gert is gonna continue to strengthen. And the forecast cone has Gert strengthening to a category two hurricane at 100 miles per hour. Gert looks very impressive on all the satellite imagery of it. It's got that nice little eye. Gert has powerful convection all around it. Gert is kind of north sided right now, but that makes sense because it's traveling northeast very fast. But as of right now, Gert is the strongest tropical system of 2017. And it looks like Gert's gonna hold that record for about two weeks. And that's one of these three invests explode. This is probably the last I'm gonna talk about on Gert. Gert's just a fish storm, but it's a beautiful fish storm. It's a whirling category one hurricane at 90 miles per hour that could strengthen to a category two. Now let's talk about the second tropical system we're watching. And that second tropical system is Invest 91L. Invest 91L doesn't look that impressive on satellite imagery, but it sure does still have that spin to it. And as long as it has that spin, it's doing well. The National Hurricane Center is giving Invest 91L a 40% chance to develop within 48 hours and a 50% chance to develop within five days. Invest 91L is getting near the Lesser Antilles. It's in favorable conditions right now, so it should continue to develop. Like I said in the last video, this system is gonna form. It's just a matter of when. All the models have Invest 91L tracking dead west towards the Lesser Antilles and tracking dead west throughout the Caribbean Sea, all the way to make a landfall in Belize. Almost exactly like Tropical Storm Franklin making landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula. Just probably a difference of 100 miles as of right now. Almost all the models are in agreement that Invest 91L is just gonna track dead west until it makes landfall on the southern part of Belize or somewhere on the coast of Honduras. Invest 91L is gonna make landfall. If it's tracking west, it's getting itself trapped where it's gonna have to make landfall somewhere. And that's looking like it's either gonna be Belize or Honduras as of right now. But things can change within five days. As of right now, all the models don't really have Invest 91L strengthening that much. But when in C, Invest 91L is gonna become a tropical depression. It's just a matter of when. Now let's talk about the third tropical system that we are watching. And this system is the newly named Invest 92L. This Invest everyone should be watching for a potential US landfall. As of right now, 92L is looking the best out of the three tropical waves crossing the Atlantic right now. Just like 91L, it has a nice little spin to it, but also has a little more thunderstorms surrounding that low level low. The National Hurricane Center is giving 92L the exact same chances as 91L to develop. 40% within 48 hours and 50% within five days. But let's take a look at what the GFS and European model are doing with 92L. The GFS has Invest 92L tracking west-northwest until 92L makes a landfall as a weak upper level low in the Dominican Republic. If this turns out to be true, Invest 92L is not going to develop and it's going to become a very weak load due to the high elevation mountains in the Dominican Republic. But now let's take a look at the Euro, the more reliable model than the GFS. The European model, first of all, takes 91L right into the middle of Belize. So that's something that Belize should watch. But the European model takes Invest 92L straight into South Florida. Very interesting. But it's straight into South Florida as a very weak tropical wave or tropical depression of some sort. But either way, it's very weak and it would just bring rain and thunderstorms to South Florida. Mostly all of the models have Invest 92L tracking west northwest north of Puerto Rico, north of the Dominican Republic, north of Haiti. And here's where it gets interesting. Does it make a landfall in Cuba? Does it bridge the gap between Cuba and Florida? Or does it make a landfall in the Florida Keys or South Florida? That's where we're gonna have to watch. And does Invest 92L even develop? That's also a question. It looks the best right now. Is it gonna overcome sheer to develop into something that we are gonna have to watch even closer. But as of right now, we have to be watching this because the majority of the models have Invest 92L developing into a weak tropical storm around the Western Bahamas, just north of Cuba, just southeast to South Florida. This one is gonna be the one to watch. Could it be another Hermine or is it gonna be a Matthew? All these questions are gonna be answered within the next five days. 
The tropics are a waiting game right now, and we are all gonna have to wait until 91L develops and 92L develops, if they develop at all. Now to the fourth tropical system we're watching in the Atlantic is this tropical wave coming off Africa that the National Hurricane Center is going to label Invest 93L probably today or tomorrow. The National Hurricane Center is giving future Invest 93L a 0% chance to develop within 48 hours, but a 40% chance to develop within five days. But no one's gonna have to wait on this system because it is not gonna affect land at all. Future Invest 93L is gonna track Northwest and out of everyone's harm's way. So future Invest 93L is gonna be just like GERT, a fish storm. But Invest 91L and Invest 92L, they are going to affect land some way, somehow. And once they get closer and closer to land, we're gonna have to watch closer and closer. That's it for this tropical update, and I'll see you in the next one.